Hello and welcome to Good Morning KU. My name is Logan Fricks, joined and I, by... And I'm Hunter Schwegman. And how are you doing this morning? Uh, it's kind of early. It's too early yeah. for me. I don't want to be up right now. Oh, I'll be yeah, honest. I completely feel you. I, I went to sleep at like 2 a.m. last night, got up at 8 in the morning, and I was like, not a fan of this. No, 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 no. <laughs> Next semester, though, my schedule is looking very nice. My earliest class is going to be like 11 a.m., mm -hmm. and then I'll have like noon to 1 somewhere around there for the rest of the week, so. I mean, my, my nice. schedule honestly is amazing. I mean, all my classes start at 11, and then Fridays, it's just the show, and then I have class at 11, so it's actually really nice, but uh, what are you doing for fall break? Uh, fall break, I'm actually staying here in Lawrence mm -hmm. until Sunday, and then I'm going home. Um, I'm gonna go back and see how the newsroom at my old high school is doing, oh, really? so. Yeah, it should be fun to, uh, I'm gonna take them some newspapers from the UDK, and then, uh, check out what they're doing both design-wise and writing-wise. So, oh, so it should uh, be really fun. What are you doing while you're still here? Uh, I'm actually shooting soccer, so oh, it really? should be really fun, yeah. So I'm, I might see you then. Yeah, just, just possibly. <laughs> Maybe, it's a potential. <laughs> but uh, with that, uh, we are also joined here by Emma Starks, the director of the show. How you doing, Emma? Hi, I'm really good. That's I'm good. having fun. I'm in Dallas right now. I oh. just got here. What are you doing in Dallas? Um, my uncle does audio for a Christian band called For King and Country, and they have a concert here. So he invited us to come. So we get to go backstage and see all that, which will be fun. I'm here with my mom. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. So, I mean, kind of, what is that band like? I mean, what do, what kind of music are they doing? Um, I don't really know. I haven't really listened to the band a ton, so it, it just should be... A surprise I guess but hopefully I also stayed up late last night I heard you stayed up till <laughs> two so I'm pretty tired so hopefully I can make it through the concert we'll see and but I don't know we'll see my mom might last longer than I do today <laughs> where is the concert is it in like a big stadium um, or anything no it's not a stadium I have no clue where it is actually just somewhere in Dallas but Dallas is a very large city if you guys didn't know you guys ever been to Dallas no uh, yeah I, I've never been to Dallas Really? Okay, so usually my family and I, we go every year for Thanksgiving, but um, I think I've been like eight years in a row. I like Dallas a lot, so it's pretty cool. I'm glad I get to be here, and I get to stay at this hotel, which is really nice. I'll show you guys my view. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I love hotel views. Big fan I don't of know views. I you can see it. Oh, it's still me. <laughs> <laughs> see? There Isn't we that go. Pretty? Okay. We love, I bet you guys can see it, and I bet it looks great. It does so, look it great, looks, actually. I don't know how to switch the camera again. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> We're good. Now I'm here still. <laughs> so, so what's it, I mean, what's it like in Dallas at just with the it's morning traffic the, Well, the, the weather is really nice right now. Oh, actually, it just started raining. That's sad. <laughs> um, well, it wasn't raining five minutes ago. Um, <laughs> when I hopped off the plane, um, it was really nice. I'm a little... I'm dressed too warm at the moment. I'm wearing a sweatshirt and leggings. I probably could be wearing shorts. It's Is it still cold in Lawrence? Oh, yeah, it's like 45 around there. It's the nice, chilly, rainy season here yeah, in Lawrence. Not a yeah, not a fan of it, but <laughs> it's that what, Kansas weather. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad to be here where it's a lot warmer, but I'm only staying here for like a day, and then I'm going back to Wichita, where I'm from. Well, so. have fun in Dallas, and uh, have fun I'll with the rest of your fall break in Wichita. And uh, we will see you guys in the next segment with news. When you shop local in the heart of the city, you support the people that make our community thrive. The money you spend here stays here. In this place we call our home. Lawrence, Kansas, where there's good old-fashioned hometown pride. Eat local, drink local, shop local. Welcome back Jayhawks, I'm Lakin. And I'm Madison. And here is your weekly news update. Nearly all campus buildings and a few scholarship halls will be without water tomorrow for infrastructure ma maintenance. Beginning at 12.30 p.m. tomorrow and expected to last all day, over 40 campus buildings will be without water. Facility Services Director Sean Harding acknowledged that there is no good time for a utility disruption such as this, however believes that fall break is the best time, as there will be significantly less students on campus. 
This is necessary to make sure all campus water systems are working effectively. Just yesterday, Wichita police arrested a man on attempted murder and attack. One police officer reported that it was a 53-year-old male who attempted to use a metal butter knife <laughs> to stab the other officer. Police records show Darren Lee Hutchinson was arrested at 6.47 p.m. on Wednesday of suspicion of attempted first-degree murder and aggravated battery of law enforcement officer. Last Saturday, President Donald Trump visited Topeka to speak to hundreds of Kansans at the Kansas Expo Center. Trump spoke on the progress he is making as president. The rally focused on, however, his support and endorsement of Kansas Governor candidate Chris Kobach. At the start of his rally, he also congratulated Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh for being confirmed by the Senate and sworn into the Supreme Court. There was great diversity among rally attendees. With political tensions boiling over across the country and high-stakes midterm less than a month away, researchers are predicting record turnout levels in November's general elections. A recent study found that nearly 20% of registered voters cast ballots in House primary elections earlier this year, as well as 56% increase from the 23.7 million who voted in the 2014 primaries. You must be registered to vote 21 days before the election in order to be eligible to vote October 16 for the 2018 midterm elections. People can register to vote at vote.gov or check their registration status at ksvotes.org. That's all we have for this week's news. We'll be back after the break. Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you your identity for life. The University of Kansas, a great place to be you. Hello Jayhawks, I'm Cassie Nichols and welcome back to this week's sports report. The fallout from KU's tough loss to West Virginia last Saturday reached a peak on Wednesday after Kansas head football coach David Beatty fired offensive coordinator Doug Meacham. Beatty said he appreciates the time Meacham put in at KU, but that no one is satisfied with the progress KU is making on the offensive side of the ball. Kansas soccer blanked Kansas State 2-0 last Friday in the Sunflower Showdown. Junior Katie McClure scored her team-leading seventh goal of the season, while junior Taylor Christie added her fourth to give the Jayhawks their first ever win against the Wildcats. Kansas volleyball is on fire, upsetting Texas on Wednesday for the eighth straight win. The Jayhawks defeated a top five Longhorn team for the first ever time in program history. This was also the first loss for the Longhorns in conference play since the 2016 season. Basketball season is just around the corner, and media day this week, head coach Phil Self told reporters that the team is working to develop leadership and chemistry. Do you have any leaders? And, and the answer for any team would be yes, because if you're not a good leader, you're probably a bad leader. So everybody's got leaders. And I would say the same thing with our chemistry right now. We've had some really times where we, we look pretty fluid together. And we've had some times where we, we, we don't look very good together. And, and, and I'll say this, we haven't had many bad days, but our bad days can become awful days just because maybe the chemistry and leadership isn't quite there yet. The Kansas City Chiefs are still undefeated in the NFL season after a 30-14 win against the Jacksonville Jaguars last Sunday. Quarterback Patrick Mahomes finished with 313 yards and ran for a touchdown. Tyreek Hill added four catches for 61 yards as the Chiefs ended up with 424 total yards. That's it for sports. After the break, Sydney and Daniel will be back with a sports debate. Welcome back to the Sports Talk. I'm Daniel and this is Sydney. So we're going to start off this Sports Talk a little differently than mo most, but we're going to talk about Jason Witten's fashion choices on Monday Night Football. I love them. They're bold, 
The white shoes, I mean, you can wear them with anything. No, this man is wearing a navy blue suit with some big white sneakers. I swear it's like he didn't think that they would do he a back shot. I think we have a photo of it, but... He they have stands a, out. I love it. No, it's just all you can see is the shoes, and the suit is just a little too tight. The suit is a little it, tight. It looks I agree like with if that. he's about to like say something, he's just about to. I mean, look at that photo. He's about to bust out that that yeah. <laughs> that top piece. He is, but the shoes look great. You I'm know a what? huge fan of the white shoes. Well, you know what? Next time you wear a blue suit, you can I'm wear those I'm white shoes. I'm gonna rock them. You rock them. Get them. Em. Take your fashion choices from Jason Witten. Jason Witten. But, well. This week's a big week for Mahomes. We'll it see is. if uh, he can live up to that Showtime Mahomes nickname that he has. But what do you yeah. think? Do you think he's the real deal? I mean, I, I think he's definitely going to be really good, but I think it's tough to say if he's Aaron Rodgers good already you know, or that's Brady what, good. I think it's a little early to be comparing him to yeah. Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. I, I just, do too. I mean, he's, he's, he's already definitely. set the record for most touchdowns in the first three weeks, and that's, yeah. you know, fantastic. But no offense, but the first three games they played were not against top-tier teams. So... I mean, yeah. I mean, he's definitely going to be really good. Yeah. I, oh, totally. But I think he'll be around to, for a yeah. while. I don't yeah. think this is a fluke season. I think he really is the real, real deal. Yeah. I but agree. speaking of the Chiefs. Pats and Chiefs this Man, week. this is probably the biggest game of the season that I we've seen. I think it is. So I'm, far. Yeah. I mean, Bill Belichick thought it was, too. <laughs> yeah. He was pumped up. Yeah. I just... I, I think the Chiefs will keep rolling. My prediction for this game is I think the Chiefs will win. Even though the game's at Gillette, I think Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, they're just rolling too too much right now. I like the Pats. You're I taking the Pats Patriots on this one? at home. Tom Brady's, I mean, he's back. Josh Gordon's playing really well. Sonny Michelle. I think the Pats are going to be tough Now, here's to what I'll say, though. If this game was in January for the AFC Championship, I'm taking the Pats. Because yeah. we all know that the Chiefs in the postseason. They choke. They do not have the best record. They do not. They And the Pats have the best record. Yeah, but we if you see, uh, Bill Belichick is clearly really excited for this game. We have a video of his uh, interview after practice. Yeah. See if we can pull see it up. See if we can pull it up here. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So clearly he is just he's hyped for this yeah. game and he's not looking at it as an AFC championship. It's just it's just another it's game to good old game. Bill Belichick. Regular game for him. But speaking now off the topic of football, on to the best thing in October. Baseball. baseball. Playoff baseball. Yes. It's honestly in my opinion better than football at this time. And I'm a football girl, so yeah. that's pretty bold to say. My team's never in it, but uh your team? It's okay. Yeah, my team is in it, but for the ALCS, who do you have? Uh, I like the Astros. You like? Okay, I'm going with the Red Sox. I think Red Sox are gonna pull through. You know, just yeah. yeah. I like. I mean, I like both teams, but the Astros are playing really well right yeah. now. Yeah, but so are the baseball. Sox, man. So, that, yeah. so I mean, I think it'll. I think it'll, it'll be, be a, a good, good series. series yeah. yeah, but for the NLCS, who do you have? I like the Dodgers. Okay, y'all. Come on now. Brewers, baby. <laughs> Brewers winning the World Series. I'm calling it right now on Good Morning KU. Brewers uh, are winning. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be upset to see the Brewers win. Honestly, NL yeah. Central team. And we got a bunch budget. of Royals. So, I mean, Kansas, y'all should be rooting for us. We got Moose. We got yeah. Kane. So, it should be a good series, though. So, yeah. hopefully, Clayton Kershaw doesn't play really well. Yeah, it'll be a good series for yeah. sure. But today we're going to end the series with something a little fun, and it's called Name That Meme. So whoever comes up with the best caption for this meme of Lynn Bell Johnson, Joseph, after, <laughs> after his uh, touchdown in the game this weekend, tweet at Good Morning KU, and yeah. we will show it next week. Wait, uh, yeah, and that's it. Thanks for joining in. We're up with Fantasy Football up next. local in the heart of the city, you support the people that make our community thrive. The money you spend here stays here, in this place we call our home. Lawrence, Kansas, where there's good old-fashioned hometown pride. Eat local, drink local, shop local. Welcome back to Fantasy Football. I'm Daniel and I'm joined with Liam and we're going to start us off with a little love-hate. First on my love list I got Juju Smith-Schuster. 
Steelers Bengals this week. It's going to be a crazy game. Last year, Ryan Shazier went down with the injury. You know, it was definitely sad to see. And Juju, I know Juju's going to be up for this game. I think he's due for a huge game, especially if the Bengals start to double team Antonio Brown. We're going to see Juju Smith open a lot more. Yeah. Uh, first on my love list, I've got Tariq Cohen. Um, he started to become the main running back for the Bears, been getting increasing carries. He's also a super versatile player. He's gotten over 170 scrimmage yards and a touchdown in the last two games. So I think if he's not picked up in your league, definitely worth a good pickup as well. Yeah. And next on my love list, I got the opposite of the Steelers. We got the Bengals now. We got Joe Mixon. I think Joe Mixon is the real deal for the running back. I mean, I think he, I'm going to compare it to Le'Veon Bell. Okay. He's got wow. that stutter step. He can wait. I think he's due for a big game. If the yeah. Bengals want to win, it's going to be Mixon and Dalton having a huge game. Okay, yeah, for sure. Um, I've got Kiki Kuti on my love list. Uh, he's been like basically forgotten by the opposing defenses as a receiver, and so he's almost like always just like wide open. He's getting so many yards, so many touchdowns in the last couple games. He's been killing it. He's another one. If he's not picked up in your league, definitely grab him. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to the hate list. First on my list, I got Kenyon Drake. I mean, he's going up against Khalil Mack and the Raiders. I don't think, or pardon me, the Bears. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have to say anything else. I mean, yeah, the Bears, Bears defense has been unbelievable this yeah. year. Uh, I've got Emmanuel Sanders on my hate list. He's just been a little bit on the inconsistent side, and going against that Rams defense, I just do not trust him to get open. Yeah, I yeah. don't either. I got Dak Prescott, lastly, on my hate list. And, you know, he had that first year, and yeah. he just hasn't just improved off. yet. Yeah, they have, like, no receivers from yeah. the throw, too. So. Yeah, it's going to be tough. And he's going against, against a second-rated defense, too, um, the Jacksonville Jaguars, so it's going to be really tough. Yeah. Uh, next up, we got the start-sit list. I've got Julian Edelman on my start list just because uh, he made his season debut last week, and it wasn't, like, you know, fantastic. It was all right. But he's going against the Chiefs this week, and even though I love the Chiefs, you know, our defense is just awful. Yeah. So I expect him to have a very, very solid game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to say start Isaiah Correll this week. 219 yards rushing on about 15 carries. I think he had two touchdowns as well. I think... You know, he's definitely inconsistent, but it's tough to sit a player on your bench with a big game like that last yeah, week. Really so I'm going to say start Isaiah Crow. All right, I've got uh, sit Tyler Boyd. Um, he's had a few good games overall this season, but he's definitely been a little bit spotty. So I think at least for this upcoming week, it's safer to keep him on the bench. Yeah. So that's going to wrap up this segment. Next up, we have uh, Brooklyn with the weather. Where you go to college makes a statement about you this place will become a part of you your identity for life the university of kansas a great place to be you guys welcome back and happy Friday you're looking at a live shot on campus right now as you can see it is still raining uh, it looks pretty miserable out there honestly and there's not a lot of people out on campus right now so yeah um, so yeah like I said it is raining and cool out um, it's only 45 degrees right now so if you're headed to class make sure you grab your jacket and your umbrella because it's really chilly out there um, the headlines for today we're going to talk about um, well, we already talked about a cool rainy day today. We're going to talk about Hurricane Michael a little bit and then the possibility of snow this weekend. So, um, yeah, as you can see, the temperatures are not going to climb a ton today. We'll get to a high of about 49 by 5 o'clock, and then the rain is going to continue till about 1 or 2 this afternoon. Uh, let's talk about Hurricane Michael. So, as you guys probably know, it hit as a um, Category 4 storm. Um, on in Florida this past couple days. Um, right now it is just a tropical storm and it is up on the northeast states. Um, as you can see we just have this one like rain band left that's hitting just a little bit right now and then um, probably by today it'll be done with the states, it'll be out of our hair. Um, and then interesting things happening in Kansas, there is actually a very small chance of snow on um, either Sunday night or early Monday morning. Um, you, as you can see, this blue is the snow and then the green is rain. So we're right there in the middle. Who knows if we'll get that rain or snow or any of it, but we're just gonna hold off and 
uh, see if we'll get some early snow this year. And then uh, um, the extended forecast, as you can see, um, sunny day tomorrow, a little bit of rain or snow on Sunday. And then by the end of our fall break, we should have sunny skies and warmer temperatures next week to about 60s. And then that's all we have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Have a good fall break, guys.